Okay, here we are, a day late, but end of week three on the carnivore diet. I would say that this week has probably been the busiest week, which has been really hard to stay on track. Um, I also had a bachelorette party to go to over the weekend, and so I did not stay completely on diet. I had a drink or two, along with a scone and a slices a slice of sourdough bread. Other than that, my meal stayed pretty on track, which was pretty good, especially for going out. It's hard to go out and not, I'm not one of the people to say to clean the grill or to not use oils or all that kind of stuff. So it was a little difficult, but um, I managed. <laughs> and I did a lot of driving back and forth between Western Washington and North Idaho, just because that's where family is and it's for the holidays and then bachelorette parties was back over there. And it was a lot of back and forth. So all of that to say, I did not stay completely on the diet. Um, and today is Monday, so it's actually day one of starting week four. And I had a cheat meal because our office went out to dinner and we went to Olive Garden. So I went all out. I had a soda. I had three breadsticks. <laughs> I had a salad. And surprisingly, the stuff that I missed the most was like a peppercini and the fresh salad and the... Um, fried veggies granted fried veggies but when I had the ravioli and like the cheesy creamy alfredo sauce like I really liked the chicken in the pasta the most I liked um the I, I didn't crave so much the carbs eating it except for the breadsticks but who doesn't crave all of garden breadsticks so other than that um I think I filled up on breadsticks and some of the appetizers um, because I did not eat much of my pasta, but I brought the leftovers home so I could pass it out to family. I also did do dessert, um, but they didn't have my favorite little donuts that you can dip in chocolate or raspberry, so I didn't get those, sadly, but I did get their, um, I think it's like their brownie lasagna thing or whatever, I don't even know. It was very rich. I could only have a few bites, but I brought the rest for my grandpa, so he was happy. Um, my digestive and intestinal system is all sorts of whack, especially lately, but it's been because I've been throwing my body kind of through a lot over the last couple of days. Um, one thing I forgot to mention during week two, I think. Um, I had the hiccups a lot and I get the hiccups a lot more than I used to. And it's not like I'm hiccuping for five minutes straight. It's that I'll hiccup, I'll hiccup once or twice every hour or maybe every two hours. So that's something I've noticed that's been a little weird. Um, other than that, I think that was the only thing I, I've missed on saying. Um, and other than that, not a whole lot changed last week. It was, like I said, very difficult to travel and to go between place to place because I couldn't meal prep because I wasn't staying in one place. And so it was easier going over to my mom's because she's also doing the carnivore diet. And so it was easier because she just made stuff and then separated it out so we could have our own thing. Um, but then I would get back to my hometown where I work and I couldn't meal prep because I was only there for two days before I had to turn around and go back over to my mom's house to be there for three days to turn around and come back home. So it was difficult. So I didn't eat a whole lot, <laughs> but I stuck to it up until the bachelorette party. So I feel pretty good about myself up until the bachelorette party. I did cheat. And then tonight I had the big Olive Garden dinner, but other than that, I've done really well. I have snacks prepared. I've prepared some dinners for the next upcoming days. And I have a bunch of meat in the freezer to cook up for the rest of the month, probably. So I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I'm just happy to be done driving all over the place for a while. Um, but yeah, I think that that's about it. With it being so busy, I don't have much of an update. So that's also why I'm so late, because I was very tired yesterday from driving home. So I went to bed at like 8 p.m. So that's why I'm a day late, but you'll get the, 
a day in the week four. Oh, um, I know I'm mainly focused on the inches and like the, you know, the dimensions of myself to shrink or not shrink, but to get smaller. See, I'm still tired. Um, but in the last three weeks I've lost, I think it was seven pounds, nine pounds, one of the two, let's call it eight, eight pounds. And I think not quite an inch on my waist, but I have lost some <laughs> inches, inch on my waist. So progress is happening. Um, I don't think besides that, that I've noticed any massive changes in my life. I know in one of the videos I talked about how um, I'm not getting up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom anymore. And not even in like an urgent way, just waking up and then like, I have to pee, might as well go pee. I'm back to doing that, um, but I've also been stressed, not eating as well or as much and tired, really, really tired lately. So I think that I'm just not allowing my body the right kind of recovery. <laughs> But that's about to happen because I don't have to be, I don't have to go somewhere for another couple weeks. So I've got two or three weeks to settle back in. Um, this diet started when I started a lot of new things. The day I started the diet, I started my job, which was my previous job, but I restarted it um, after my big move because I moved home recently too from living in Texas up to North Idaho. So it was a big move. I switched a full new skincare system. I was using a lot of like CeraVe or whatever that brand is. Um, and I've switched to The Ordinary, which I love this brand so much. Um, I've been using it for now three weeks and I used to get a lot of like really bad breakouts down and on my neck, which it could totally be because I'm eating better too. That's, I'm not, I'm not saying it's just the brand, but the brand has been really amazing. They have a little quiz you can take online, um, that'll help you figure out what your problems, problems, problem areas, issues, target issues are on your face and they'll give you a regimen and their stuff is so cheap. Um, I think for the little bottles that I get, they're like eight bucks and their cleanser, which is an oil-based cleanser, which I've never used before, but I'm actually turning, I love it. <laughs> so anyway, not that I needed to go on that little rant, but I did a lot of changes when I started this diet and it's going really well. <laughs> so sorry, I have the window open because it's hot outside. <laughs> um, anyway, that's kind of my short kind of update, not really update. So sorry, there wasn't much to go off of on this one. Um, but I hope your holiday was great. The 4th of July and, uh, yeah, um, that's what I got. So I guess if you have questions or comments, let me know. I'll, uh, hop on and see if I can answer any. I will probably ask my mom and then tell you the answer. <laughs> she probably does a lot more research on this stuff than me. I'm kind of just like a bandwagoner for her. <laughs> like, oh, you're doing that? Okay, I'll do it too. I'm actually wearing her earrings. She let me borrow them for the uh, bachelorette party because it was a Taylor Swift themed bachelorette party. So I had to find stuff to wear <laughs> and she helped me out. So thanks mom. <laughs> anyway, alrighty. Good luck y'all. <laughs>